that time. Welcome back to the Waviest channel on YouTube, bringing you sneaker reviews, clothing reviews, dope vlogs, and everything in between. Today we're going to be taking a look at these Nike Blazer Mid Vintage 77s. I ordered these actually at Nordstrom. They came in earlier this week. I tried one shoe on just to get the general idea of it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this review. Of course, we're gonna start with the box. You got this orange classic Nike box. Blazer Mid Vintage 19s or just 77 right there. And shout out to Nordstrom for jacking up my box. Yep. See that? See that? Yeah. They don't jack the thing up. But that's not what matters. I'm gonna go ahead and get straight to this review. I'm gonna try to hit a Thomas the Franchise uh, little sneakers behind this if I can do it. Bang! Oh, wait, hold on. I got this. Bang! I'm keeping that one because, yeah, I'm tired of trying. So. Here it is right here, the Nike Blazer Mid 77 Vintage, what a mouthful. This is a very, very, very nice shoe. I was having uh, mixed thoughts after I tried it on. I was like, I don't know if I want to keep it or sell it to someone locally or what I want to do. But taking them out of the box again, I, I'm gonna have to put these up. Yeah, these are hard very hard i wish there are the slam jams you know the slam jams have the reverse swoosh or the upside down swoosh whatever so uh not paying 450 or however much i'm not paying over 200 dollars for a uh, a blazer unless it's a supreme blazer but or off-white blazer but anyways yeah i'm not paying just because of things but yeah i'm not doing that going straight to the shoe finally yeah i know it's taking a cool minute we have a whole leather upper and on the toe but as you see here we have like a suede like a not not quite new book this is right here is like a new book suede right here this black check but on the side here we have like the suede material and it's kind of like an off-white kind of color and you have that same suede along here on the toe box right here you have an off-white midsole paired with a gum outsole on the bottom of it here and also on the midsole you kind of have this texture Kind of looks like a little uh not like elephant print in a way almost but not quite like i said the new buck check tongue here is open and exposed so you have the exposed foam here on the tongue and on the tongue tab you have the orange nike check with the black nike writing on top of it in that kind of classic font moving to the back of the shoe you have nike on the back here it is on both shoes of course but in the original 1977 ones it was black back here so that is something different um, compared to the original uh, ones from 1977. Some backstory here about the Blazers is the Blazers were the first basketball shoe that Nike made. They're made in 1973 by George Gervin. Of course, now with technology and how everything works in the shoe industry, it's not considered a basketball sneaker anymore. The shoe is more of like a casual sneaker. This is kind of marketed more towards the Nike Skate brand. As you see, you have like this suede panel here is kind of like a protectant from the shoe. I, I think I have one of my skate shoes so I can show, and show you both. Okay, so here's one of my Vans Authentics. You see here, I have like a fat hole right there. See the hole, obviously. So um, I can see why this padding why this extra layer is here so that doesn't happen you don't tear tear up your shoe a lot quicker but also in the the pictures i saw of the 1977 original one it did have that same kind of thing as well and at that time it was still marketed as a basketball sneaker but also the pictures that i saw may have been this shoe just pretty beat up but i'm pretty sure it was 77 model is when they started putting this on there uh, of course, in the 73, when it first came out, it was just plain. And uh, they kind of went back to the plain silhouette, the style of the shoe for a little bit. But they brought this one back with the vintage kind of a, with the vintage collection. The vintage collection comes with the black, blue, and green. Yeah, I didn't really try for any of them. I know they were hyped up a little bit, but I wasn't really worried about getting them. 
But once I saw I could grab these and they were kind of just up on Nordstrom, logged into PayPal through Nordstrom, a bill. Then these arrived at my house a few days later. These actually got here pretty fast. It said it was going to take about a week to arrive on the Nordstrom email that I got, but I really got it in I think three days and I ordered it on a Friday. I got it on a Monday. So the shipping was pretty quick and I appreciate that, even though I haven't worn the shoe yet officially. Speaking of wearing the shoe, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on foot so you guys can see how they look and how I would style them. Let's get to it. Okay, dope on foot super super dope i love these a lot um if you have wide feet it'll definitely show in these it's a definite narrow shoe be aware of that if you have a wide foot that you you gonna bulge a little bit you gonna bulge you can wear them a little bit looser to kind of you know take away from that but yeah it'll happen you got fatter wide feet yeah they don't see it but all in all this shoe is pretty cool i didn't really mention the the holes the air holes right there you see there's three on that side so on the inside so there's that for the extra breathability so your foot doesn't completely sweat out the shoe anyways let me know what you think about this shoe sorry this was a short review but you know what i'm saying i i got a i got a lot i'm working on i'm working on if you're a subscriber and you, you're following i know you, you you may care but you may not care if you just here you may not care but i'm working on some videos for my school so that's taking a lot of time. Going to school is taking a lot of time up. And then working is taking a lot of time up. So I stay busy as I can because I don't want to be bored. I don't want to be stagnant. I like to move things around. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I am. So I'm going to I'm gonna upload as much as I can. I still have videos that like just need to be edited. They're already recorded and stuff. Let me know in the comments what you think about this shoe. Is it a cop or is it a drop for you? Just sub if you're new. Join the crew. I'm out of here. I will soon never play yourself. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Peace.